Hey everybody, I thought that I would do a homework help video real quick just to make sure you're doing okay with these fraction problems. Um, so here we go, I've got 2 thirds Q equals 18. Every single time I want you to rewrite the problem onto your paper, um, I want you to show your work with these uh, because otherwise stuff disappears in your head. So I look at 2 thirds and I think, okay, how do I undo 2 thirds? If you don't know, put your hands out in front of you, one on top of the other, and what do you do? Got it, you do the reciprocal. So times three over two. And that's really, you're dividing by two thirds, which is a keep switch flip. So then times three halves, but I don't have anything under the 18. Oh, I'll put a one there. Good, here's my line. Look at, this simplifies out to one Q. So there's my one Q over here. 18 times three, and then one times two. But watch this. 18 over 2 can simplify to 9 over 1. So 9 times 3, Q equals 27. This one, what happens? Draw my line down. How do you undo 3 fourths? You actually write 3 fourths X equals 9. And then, so how do I undo 3 fourths? You're right, I multiply by 4 thirds. So over here I write 4 thirds. Do you need to write the one underneath the nine? If you do, then do it. So nine times four and one times three. But look at nine over three. Can you simplify that? You bet you can, three over one. So this simplifies out to one X. Three times four is 12. There we go, beautiful. This one, line down, how do you undo five eighths? Good, times by eight, divide by five. Times by eight, divided by five. Now, a quick question for you. Anything times one is itself, so anything times negative one is really itself, just negative. And what about that negative eight over five? You can just leave it, which is super nice. All right, this one, I'm not gonna do it for you, but you just flip, so three-fifths to undo that, you do five-thirds. This one, to undo the one-fifth, what do you do? Got it, multiply by five over one. This one, oh no, what do I do? Line down, how do you undo four-ninths? Yeah, just nine-fourths. So over here, times nine over four. All right, then I can simplify out to 36 over four. 4 goes into 36 9 times, so I get 81. That's a D. It just didn't <laughs> go all the way through. Hmm. Similar over here. Be careful of your sign. Similar on 49. So we should be good so far. 50. Define a variable and write an equation for each situation and then solve. So you have a rack that can hold 30 CDs. You can fit seven more CDs on the rack before the rack is full. So here's my rack. Um, I've got 30 CDs. So this is 30. I can fit seven more. Hmm. So, oh, this isn't right, is it? No, the whole thing can hold 30. There you go. 30, so always be careful and watch. And if you think, what? I might be doing it wrong. Whole thing can do 30. You know that you can do seven, so how much is this? So the way I write that is x plus seven equals 30. Nice, all right, so x is 23. Because 23 plus seven gives you 30. Now here is where we start getting into some scary ones. They're not really scary, look at this. Z minus four and two thirds equals two and two thirds. What do you notice about their denominators? They're the same. So there is no J hooking needed here. You don't need to make them improper. Let's just look at this. How do you undo minus? We add four and two thirds to both sides. If I do that, I just drop down my Z. That's all fine and dandy. 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 thirds and 2 thirds makes 4 thirds. 
Can I leave this as six and four thirds? I cannot. Because this right here makes one and one third. So I'll just add that on. Six plus one and one third. Seven and one third is my answer. This was a lot like the B's um, in your IXL for last week. These. This one, because it's multiplying, now you have to make improper first. So let's see, four and a half. Pretend the negative isn't even there, so because everything is negative. So four times two is eight, plus one is nine halves. Is it a positive nine halves or a negative nine halves? Negative. So now we've got two thirds G. How do you undo the two thirds? Great, three halves times three halves. There is no simplifying that can happen here. So I get that is G and nine times three, 27, positive or negative? Negative over four. And you may leave it. Now because this one started improper, you could, in this case, I would say that it would be wise to do negative six and a fourth. However, it's fine to leave it improper. Ooh, 59 caused a lot of problems today. But it's really not that bad. J hook at first, six times four, plus one, 25 fourths, equals R divided by five. All right, so how do I undo divided by five? Times five. So over here, five over one. Not bad. Five sets of 25 makes 125 over four equals R, so simplify out. So you can leave it like this, or because it started as a mixed number, four goes into 12 three times into one, 31 and one fourth equals R. That is a good answer as well. This one, not a problem. How do you undo positive 2.8? Just subtract it. Be careful what you get over here. Describe and correct the error. This one I'm just going to let you look at by yourself. But the last ones, oh, did we struggle with order of operations. So not all of you did, but a bunch. So let's keep working on it. Over here, I know that I've got parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Are there parentheses? Yes, two sets. So there's my parentheses. I go to the very inside. So negative one. So now I've got two minus negative one, minus two. So there I put the brackets back out and two on the outside, that's multiplying. Now what do I do? Well, on the inside, now it's all subtraction. So right to left, well, two minus negative one, two plus one is three, minus two, got one. So two times one gives you, that means times, two. This one a lot of people are like, what? Well, you do parentheses first. But you can't do those parentheses until you do something else. Common denominator. One half is three sixths. One third is two sixths squared. Three halves, or three six plus two six makes five six squared. Oh, what do you do there? Well, five squared is, six squared is, I'm not going to write it down. I think you can figure it out, but six squared, the answer is what goes here. 88, last one. What do you do first? There's no parentheses, no exponents. Is there multiplication division? Yes. There it is. So you've got negative one plus six minus four. Negative one plus six is five minus four, one. There it is. So hopefully that helped if you're struggling with your homework. Now you should be good.